and the kind of work that I was going to bring to the organization was going to be me in my truest form. And that made people very uncomfortable. Think about how you're going to build that strategy of empowerment for all 10 of your common differences. So I spent a lot of time researching these 10 differences. And part of the strategy is which differences you're going to highlight in what setting. Because the people who you come in contact with are going to, like I mentioned earlier or, or mentioned uh, a part of this episode, is that pigeonholing will happen. People will see you and they're going to pick something about you and they're going to hypersensitize or hyperfocus on that. But if you have the plan of how you're going to drive empowerment for each of those differences that you hold on to, everything that makes you who you are, you have it almost like a toolkit in your repertoire that you're about to bust out and you're about to use it. And that toolkit also includes the leadership actions that you do to showcase the impacts. And then what is the impact? If you don't also communicate what the impact is, then you're going to also miss the boat. So that means that you can tell the heart driven story about having the door slammed in your face or having the cops called on you like I had did. But if you don't also include the economic statistics about your, one of your differences, like I can talk about the fact that there are more than 2 million transgender people in the United States. And now I'm putting an actual number behind it. Or I can talk about the $1.7 trillion buying power of the LGBT business community and saying that that's the 10th largest economy, even bigger in the world, even bigger than Russia. And now by putting all of that information, I'm sharing the power parts of empowerment along with the authority parts of empowerment, which are all the heart-driven things to get you thinking about why this information is important. And you have to connect those two things at the same time to reach more people. So, I mean, if anybody is interested in learning more about my empowerment and differences research, you can find it at empoweringdifferences.com. I'm going to try to make that super easy. Um, and I don't ever want there to be a barrier to access. So if enrolling my leadership course or buying any of my cur published curriculum work is a barrier to access, please just email me and I will provide it to you. <laughs> like literally, I never want there to be a barrier to driving empowerment for people. So if you're listening, contact me. You can literally find, find my email right on my website. It's very easy. Um, and I would love to learn more about what you're doing to drive empowerment as well.